Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing great and enjoying their holidays time. So today we are going to learn another topic from the our low code development and this is episode five. So if you want to see the previous episode, you can go to my channel Kutometa and look for that uh, uh, playlist low code development and in that you'll find. So the today's topic is bigger CRUD operations from App Studio using Savable Data Page. So it's called in in eight dot x right or infinity. I'll say in infinity or like in constellations, React constellations. If you want to do the CRUD operations, how you can do that? Like let's say if you want to save the data, delete the data, edit the data, right? So this is what we are going to learn using Savable Data Page from the App Studio. Okay, so we are not going to touch anything in the Dev Studio, and we are going to see how we can do end to end. So let's go to the Pega. So I have a sample applications I have already created uh, related to loan, but there is no case type. Okay, so how this CRUD operations right? How Pega is also saying that um, a data instance first. Okay, so let's say. Uh, that you are building a loan applic loan applications okay and then initially uh, before the case creations you want to just persist that loan instance and then uh, one of the case analyst will analyze and find out the eligibility then only case can be created okay so this is the design pega is following right so i'll be showing from the pega i'll be building that ui in the pega but you can same replicate uh, from that uh, uh, using the API, right? Like uh, if you're building applications in any front end technology and want to pega wants to use Pega DX API V2, you can do that. Okay, that crowd operations you can perform. So let's see from the Pega and then automatically once I'll, I'll show you will be able to perform using the API as well. Okay, so that is where the case type is not required because we are doing the the work before the case type work. Okay, like just persisting the data to some data instance table. So before that, what we are going to add, do that, okay, we'll first creating a data object, okay, so I'll say that loan application, because this, this will hold all the loan applications, okay, which is not past the eligibility test, okay, once it will be, once the eligibility test will pass, it will go to the next level, and then we are going to create the case, okay, we are going to define the source as well, and then just we'll add few minimum columns. Okay, so I'll add, let's say first name. First name, submit. Last name. And then a loan amount. A loan amount we can, yeah, a currency should be fine. Loan amount and then submit add another and then I can add loan type so in this one loan type we can add home education and vehicle okay so done just four attribute okay so we have created now what we want is that like if i'm building like applications in react constellations okay that before the eligibility test pass and all those things case created okay i want to show this okay data list of data okay to the user and also want to give an ability so that they can edit this data and they can add data also okay and then same once you can do it from the pega same you can do it from that like front end, any front end, like let's say if you want to just embed or like want to add these features to some web applications that you can do it through the API, okay? But today we are going to learn it, how we can do it from the Pega. So now the first things we have done it, okay? Then second things which we need to do is we need to make sure that we have that UX, okay? For all these things like create, edit, okay? And obviously we, we mostly need that use UI for create and edit. So we'll go to the UI tab here, let's be before that let's add some data here so john to loan amount is 4000 then home tech and then peter to i'll add 5000 5, and then here i'll select vehicle okay so we are done 
now we'll go to ux tab here okay and then we'll make sure that we have that create when we'll do the create and edit okay we want to present that ui right to the user so that that should happen so let's see if you're doing the same thing from your um front end applications you need to build and map that to that attribute okay and send that as a request but here we need to build that ui so what we can do is here we'll go to the other views and here you can see that the form we have options is create and edit so in create and edit, we can do that, that what all field we want to display, okay. So Pega by defaults add a primary fields here, okay. So you can, what we can do that, okay, if you want, you don't want to edit, then you can go and add that primary fields here in records, sorry, in data model, you can go and add those primary fields here, then automatically that will get populated there. So let's say i can select primary for first name last name loan type and loan amount so what will happen wherever the primary field has been referred automatically these four columns will come okay so now if i go to the other okay and see create so you can see that that came because we have added to the primary let's let's see once again so if you want to use the primary fields views okay then you need to go and mark that what all fields you want to make it primary okay so here in the create we have learned using primary but let's see in edit how we can do that you can do the same in edit so you can do so you can see that primary fields is already there but let's say you you, you want to add it manually so that also you can do it so you can add the fields like here so you can add first name last name loan amount and loan type like this also so you have learned both the ways okay so either you, how we can use primary and how we can add manually so we have defined that the form for create and edit okay that is what we need for delete we don't need okay so let's let's see now how we can enable this on the ui okay so as of now like what we have done is we have created a data model okay and then we have defined the primary fields and then we have make sure that we have a ui for create and edit form okay now next thing is that we need to add uh, somewhere in our portal okay so that user can do it at user can edit or delete that so let's open a web portal and see that so as of now you can see that in our navigations menu we have home we have my work and then we have explore data and then we have dashboard here we want to add a loan applications list and from that landing page we want to modify that okay so let's go again back to our uh, app studio and we'll go to channel and we'll go to web portal and here we'll go to landing pages and we'll try to add a landing page okay one second i previously have added that that is okay so i'll add landing page pages loan application list something like that we can give okay or loan applications which you want what type of template you want so for now i'll just select the list okay because what we want to display the list of loan and also we want to give an ability to edit or add any new loan okay and let's just submit it so it will create a landing page basically it will create a harness okay in your ui pages class okay now here it's showing the custom page list okay what we want to select so data page by default it's coming work list but we want we need ours one okay so somewhere we can see loan application we should see our data page as well let's see that list of loan applications so yeah this is what we want list of loan application basically list of loan applications is our data page which we created okay so if i'll uh, let me select and then i'll show you okay or let's let's see that if i'll go to data and loan application so if you see here the data pages which got created list of loan applications of list and then loan applications is for the lookup and then saveable loan application so what we are selecting here in the landing page let's go back in the landing page here loan applications what we're selecting is that list of loan applications so we basically want to display that how many applications has been submitted okay and to display you want to what type of uh, display type you want to use and all those things you can select but for now i'm going as a table okay and then in the table okay we can add the column that what all things we want to display so for now we want to display all the column because we have very less but if you have a, let's say a more then you can display less okay and also if you want to add a filter prompted filter or anything you can do that so i for just to show you i'll add prompted filter on loan type okay so i'll add a column so you can select based on the loan type 
most important is important is you need to select allow create delete and allow edit delete and create so basically we need to select these options and we can say that add loan and here the moment we are selecting it's asking that what is the label for add okay so we can say add add loan or something okay so this we need to select okay so and then let's see, save it so this is the configurations which you need to do let's let's revisit the configurations again so in custom list page we selected that database list loan applications and then we added the required columns that which we want to display and here you can see that same in preview this is how it will look on our ui okay you can see that add loan here it's it's a very small it's looking and then based on the loan type you can search okay so currently it's a, like showing all and then here in these ones we can see the actions which i'll show you on the ui okay so now we are done we saved it now we'll go back and add this landing page to our navigation so here you can see that loan applications is coming now so i'll just select and if you want to change the icon you can do that okay uh, from landing page i think we can select the icon but for now i'll go with the default it's it, it got that list one automatically now let's refresh and we should we should see that okay loan application so it came here so you can see that two loan came and if i just want to select home and select so it's just showing one okay and then we can we can see the edit delete button and add loan button as well let's try to add a loan okay. and i want to go with educations let's submit so you can see that when i'm trying to submit it's not working okay and the reason is okay i'll show you before that how we can debug that so if you try to run the tracer you might not get uh, like not able to de debug that because this is because this is constellations react okay so what you need to do you can in in network trace you can try to trace here so you can see that it's just that like it's saying not found okay so what i understood based on my analysis is that it's not passing the data page ideally it should pass the savable data page as well to save that instance okay but savable data page is missing okay so the question is where we can configure that okay because here we, we are not getting options if you go to landing pages here we are not getting any options to configure that savable data page okay on which these actions will work okay so then where we can do that to do that what you need to do you need to come to the data and come to uh, this data and then come to the setting tab in the setting tab you have the options to select default data source okay so in default data source you can select that which data page you want to use okay for default lookup okay so you can select this loan applications one and for that fetching that list list loan applications and for savable the savable loan application okay so this was not selected okay by default and hence it was missing that so pega was not able to identify that which data page i need to execute okay as part of this one let's say you have created any another data savable data page that also you can select in the list so it's not that so by default pega creates three data page whenever you create a data source okay first is that list one and then second lookup and then third savable one but if you are creating with your business logic or anything you can select in the settings now once we have selected in the settings if you log off and log in this one and try i think it will work so let's let's do that so now we'll go to we'll open the portal so if you can see that as of now i have not used app web dev studio for anything everything i have configured from that uh, app studio only so now i'll go to that this one and now i'll try to add okay and then i'll say education and just add submit it so you can see that it got added now if i try to edit okay let's see that edit as well so instead of 2000 i'll make it 3000 or more than that 30000 and update see it's getting updated okay now if i try to delete as well i think the delete will also work so you can see that it easily is easily it's working right now and, and also this is also working so these all things is working and as i said that you may not see directly in that um, 
a tracer because it's all happening through the API, right? Because the UI component is coming from the React constellations and then using the UI, right? It's interacting with the Pega database. Let's recap what we did. Okay, so the first we created a data instance to do this one from the App Studio, and then when we created a data uh, like app uh, data instance, okay, we like obviously you need to make sure that data instance key is the the uh, GUID so you don't have to do anything you just select that you want to create the source okay and then you need to define your UX in while defining your UX either you can update and remove the primary views or you can update the primary views who can include the column so that much you need to do and also in the settings the most important things in the settings you need to update that list of like the define which one you want to select as a saveable default data page so that you need to do because this is the most important steps and then you need to go to the channel okay uh, you need to go to the channel you need to go to the channel and configure a landing page add a landing page and in that landing page okay you need to select that uh, the the data page through which, which you want to display that uh, the data okay and select the column list and then finally select in this checkbox allow edit delete and create okay and then save it and test it from the user portal so that's it on this session please do try and let me know if you face an issue i can definitely help with that thank you thank you very much have a good day bye